Okay guys, we're gonna show the world what Jane Eyre is really about. What, what, what are you gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna preach. That's what I'm gonna do. You're gonna preach? I'm gonna preach. Sweet. This world needs to know about this book right here. Do you, do you like this book? I mean... Oh, I'll tell you some things about this book. I'll tell you some things. Come right. on, I'm almost let's, there. Let's get out there. I'm done. Come on, come on. You, you gotta get, you gotta believe, Shane. Shane, you, you gotta believe. You gotta, you gotta get back. Do you know up. what this is about? Do you know what this is about? This is, this is philosophy right here. This is Jane Eyre. And this is my life. I'm out. I'm Ben. Uh, I fish. I fishmonger. That's I'm a fishmonger. And I what am I reading? I oh, I know what the what the hell I'm reading. I'm reading Jane Eyre. I read Jane Eyre when I was growing up a number of times. And each time I found something else in it that was interesting. It's kind of dull in the beginning. It takes a while to get into the story of this little girl that's growing up in some school for children where she's treated with harsh discipline and has no love in her life. I hear this is sex scene and whew, it's pretty hot. I hear it's like in some kind of oasis or something and like there's an iguana involved. I'm like you wouldn't believe that kind of the kind of stuff that's in this book. Like. I don't know, some iguana, some, there's a serpent in it too that gets involved in the sex scene, but I won't get into details. Senior English is a British literature class, and we study this because of the fact that we predominantly in this country speak English, and this is the basis for where our language came from, and it's important to understand how that language came to be and evolve through time. And, yeah, like... <clears throat> Look at, that, look at that pattern on the wall. It reminds me of it, like, like a fence. Like if I was staring straight at a fence, this book's like she's hiding behind a fence right now. It's like, it's like home improvement. Like when Wilson would hide behind that fence. That's what this book reminds me of. Because it's like it has a mysterious look to it. See, I remembered what the real world was wide. So obviously the real world must be flat in this book. Man, this must date back into Christopher Columbus times when the world was flat. Who knows? And that's a fascinating period, I think, in, in British history. And so I've, I've read it a number of times growing up and read it a couple of times when I was an adult. And as I said, each time there was something else that I found interesting about the way that she wrote the story. That's why it's stupid. I mean, they didn't know stuff back then. They didn't even know how to, they didn't have the wheel invented yet. Like. Like, I think Jimmy Carter invented that or something. Like, at, hence the cart with the wheels. Because carts have wheels. Do I think it's valuable for classic pieces of literature to be read um, for the betterment of mankind or for the future generations to, to know and love? Uh, no. Um, I, I think there's, there are some cornerstone authors that, that our students should be aware of like the Shakespeare's, um, or even the John Steinbeck's of America. But as, as far as certain pieces of literature uh, necessary to be read by all in, in our culture, or even around the world in all other cultures, I don't think it's necessary. 
Um, I think what's necessary are the skills, uh, going back to reading, writing, uh, listening, and speaking, and whatever vehicle, avenues, uh, in, in ways of, of literature and the selections, uh, primarily up to certain districts, uh, specific people in, within the districts, it's really uh, up in the air. And I, I can teach all of those skills, any of those skills, with any piece of quality literature, um, whether it's Jane Eyre or something uh, more modern and recent as the Da Vinci Code. Uh, it's, it's all in the way that all in the way that the information is delivered and how the skills are enhanced, taught, and practiced in the classroom. I agree because actually um, my experience from college, I went to Penn State, and not to bash Penn State or any of its professors. However, um, coming out of Penn State, I had a very romanticized view of government. I was a public policy major, and I had a very romanticized view of what government was, how it worked, and what it should be. And then I got to Pennsylvania State Legislature, and it's nothing like what I anticipated. So I think that they need to be teaching more of the real world, real life experiences rather than just the this is what it's supposed to be type genre because it just doesn't work. You need to teach more of the this is how it's going to be when you get there. Okay. okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to do a test. We're going to go ahead and read this Jane Eyre book to this unsuspecting Dairy Queen member. And what we're gonna do is see his reaction. Like if if he's like appalled and like doesn't really want to like read the book or listen to us anymore, he'll probably just shut the window or something like that. So I mean, like, but if he likes it, he'll probably stay on the window. So this is just kind of a test. We're not really sure how it's gonna go. Um, I might get fired from my job. So th this is this is gonna be pretty good. What do I want? I don't want any ice cream. Okay. Let's see what they have first. Do I order here or up there? <laughs> yeah, just give me a second. I'm trying to decide what I want. Do I want something cheap? Dude, I don't know. I mean, I got it. I'm the ball, man. Okay. Um, I have a Mountain Dew right here, but I think I could go for another. Arctic Rush looks pretty good. Um, could I get a small root beer? Sorry? Could I get a small root beer? Is that everything? Yes, sir. Alright, Can they pick it up right here? Yeah. Okay. Do you even notice? I hope so, but nobody can be sure of the future. You must wish to leave Lowood. Does this seem interesting to you? No? Thank you. Mike and tap the window, man. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Sorry, that didn't work out the way I wanted to. And uh, what do you got there, Dave? I have this book, Jane Eyre, by Charlotte Bronte. After reading this book, I was astonished. You know what I was astonished at? I was astonished at this pure garbage that this Charlotte Bronte. Charlotte Bro who is Charlotte Bronte? At this crab. That's what I think of this book. Oh my god, this book is terrible! I'm, I can't stand it! <laughs> <laughs>